Hello my lovelies, this is Chef Kieran Hales from Zingerman's Coal Mine Farms. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite subjects at the farm and that's my cookbooks. I've got about 8,500 cookbooks here and I'm going to be talking about some of my very favourite ones, going to do the top 10. So right off the bat, uh, one of my favourite places to be in the world uh, is the River Cottage, uh, Hugh Fern and Whittingstall's place. Absolutely adored being there. Um, there's a myriad of different books uh, that he has produced. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of little manuals. We've got ones on pigs. We've got ones on outdoor cooking. We've got the year at the river cottage. We've got a meat book, an A to Z of all the different vegetables that you can use. But if you're going to make me pick one, which would be incredibly hard because I use all of them on a regular basis, I definitely un understand and love the preservation book really well. Uh, one of the things I love to make uh, is preserving the year to have something through the winter. And one of my favorite things here is on page 132, which is the elderflower cordial. Um, I have made gallons and gallons of elderflower cordial. When I first arrived in the US, it was one of the things I was most excited about making straight away, and it was literally the very first day I got over here. And so what you do is you take the elderberry bush, you take the flowers before they've turned into the berries, and you catch them early in the morning so the pollen's still fresh, and then you preserve it in a lemon wash with a little bit of citric acid, either sugar or honey goes in there, and you soak it for about a week. You pass that off, you can it up, and you've got this ray of sunshine in a glass bottle that you can add champagne to, some sparkling water. Um, really simple recipe, but it's one of those things where at this time of the year, you have to be able to capture that flower just the right moment uh, to capture all of that wonderful flavor. Um, really wonderful cookbooks. Uh, they talk you through really simple recipes. Uh, they're all in the metric system, which is always great. Love my metric system. Uh, I also have to say that uh, the recipes really go down to the bare bones. So you can take these as your basis and add a lot of extra flair to them. You could put some tilla cherry black pepper, some thyme or some other things in them, but they don't try to overdo it. Uh, so they give you a really good baseline like Delia Smith used to do in the UK back in the day. Really great cookbooks. I'd highly recommend any of the River Cottage ones, but if you wanted to dip your toe into the series, I think these little handbooks are a really nice way to do it. All right, let's get on to the next cookbook.